In this video, we have a 7-gallon and a 9-gallon jug of water. So, and they're empty. We have a 7-gallon and a 9-gallon. And our goal is to use these two gallons and, let's say, some kind of hose or something with an unlimited water supply to measure out all the gallons between 1 and 9. So we want to use these two jugs of water and this hose to measure 1 gallon, 2 gallons, 3 gallons, all the way up to 9. Now, I suggest you try this, you know, pause this video and give it a shot. And then I'm going to share my solution. And I'm wondering if there's a faster way to do this because... I just solved this riddle, and I solved it in a way that seemed natural to me. I wasn't looking for efficiency, but I am wondering, is there a better way to do this? So, right away, I could fill up the seven-gallon jug, and that would give me seven gallons. So, we, we're done with that one. And also, if I fill up the nine-gallon jug, I get nine gallons. Now, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to go. So, what I did first was to get two gallons. And the way I did this was by filling up the nine-gallon jug, and then pouring this into the seven-gallon jug. And if you think about what's going to happen, right, the nine gallons, if we empty it all out of the seven-gallon jug, we're going to fill the seven-gallon jug up completely. So seven gallons will be in the seven-gallon jug, and two gallons will be left over in the nine-gallon jug, because nine minus seven is two. So I can get two gallons by pouring the nine-gallon jug into the seven-gallon jug. And now I keep going. I'm going to actually try to build up the situation. So um, I have two gallons in my nine-gallon jug, right? And my seven-gallon jug is full, but first to get the next one, I'm going to empty out the seven-gallon jug. So now my seven-gallon jug is empty, and I'm going to try to get four gallons. So I'm going to use the two gallons I have to get four. And what I could do is pour the two gallons from the nine into the seven. So these two gallons go into here, right? And then what I can do is fill up the nine gallon jug all the way. So there's no more two gallons here, there's nine gallons of water. And I can empty that into the seven. So everything I can now from the nine gallon jug into the seven. And what's going to happen? Well, there's already two gallons in here. If we empty out the nine gallon jug, how many more will fit to make seven? Well, well five more, right? So we'll have emptied five gallons from a full nine gallon jug into the seven gallon jug, and that means four gallons will be left here, all right? Because nine minus five gives us four gallons. So again, we just emptied out the nine gallon, the two gallons from the nine gallon jug into the seven gallon jug, filled up the nine, emptied it again, and we're left with four gallons in the nine gallon jug. And I want to try and use that, excuse me, I think to keep going. So next, um, I've got the two and I've got the four. And actually here, uh, I got a little stuck, so I'm gonna say I empty out both jugs and start from scratch. And this, this time I'm gonna go in from a different way. So here's my nine gallon jug and here's my seven. This time I'm going to fill the seven gallon jug up all the way. So that's seven gallons of water in here. And I'm going to pour those seven gallons into the nine. So we have seven gallons now in the nine gallon jug, and the seven gallon jug is empty. Erase that. Okay, so seven gallons in the nine gallon jug. And now I'm going to fill up the seven again all the way and pour everything I can into the nine. Well, how much will fit in the nine gallon jug? Well, it's already filled with seven gallons, so two more gallons can fit to make nine. And those two gallons taken from the five gallon the, from the seven gallon tank, right? Take those out, goodbye. We'll leave five gallons left. So we use we can do this to measure out exactly five gallons, and that's done. Okay, let me clear this off. And we keep going. I'm gonna just keep resetting up this diagram. So there's a nine gallon jug, and here's our seven. And right now we have exactly five gallons in a seven gallon tank. We can use that. And here we can actually use this to get three gallons. So we're gonna use the five to get three. And what am I going to do? Well, I'm gonna pour these five gallons from the seven into the nine. So imagine I'm filling this up with five gallons, and now the seven gallon tank is empty. Clear this out. Okay. So so I keep going here. I'm going to fill up the seven gallon tank all the way. All right, seven gallons of water in the seven gallon tank. I'm going to pour this into the nine gallon tank. Right. So if there's only five gallons in the nine gallon tank. How much from the seven gallon tank will fit in the nine? Well, there's, there's four more left. Right. Five plus four is nine. And if we took four from the seven gallon tank, right, we pour those out in the nine gallon tank. What's left? Well, seven minus four is three. And we use that five now to measure three gallons. And we're on our way. We're almost there. I'm going to keep going here. And now I'm going to use three to measure out, to measure one. That's my next step. So I'm actually going to leave the situation the way it is. I'm just going to clear it up because this diagram is, is sloppy enough. So I'm going to draw a little bigger. So here's my seven gallon, and here's my nine gallon jug. And currently there's exactly, I think we said, right, three gallons in the seven gallon tank. So how can I get one? Well, I'm going to empty these three gallons into the nine gallon tank, right? Pour them out from the seven gallon tank. So there's nothing now in the seven gallons. And I've got three gallons in the nine. If I fill up the seven all the way, Right? That's full of seven gallons of water, and I empty that all into the nine gallon tank, what will happen? Well, there's already three gallons in the nine gallon tank, so six more will fit in the nine gallon tank because six plus three is nine. And that means we've emptied six gallons from the seven gallon tank, right? Six gallons have been poured into here. So what does that mean? Well, if there were seven gallons, we poured six out, now there's one left. So in that way, we can measure out exactly one gallon of water. And now I could use this to measure out eight gallons. So now I'm going to continue when I have the one gallon in the seven gallon tank. How can I get eight gallons? And you can always see it, right? There's this one here in the seven gallon tank, and you know nine minus one is eight. So this is really gonna help us. So what I'm gonna do actually is just 
emptied that one gallon into the nine gallon tank. So there's one gallon of water in the nine gallon tank. And it came from the seven gallon tank. Okay. So now if I fill up my seven gallon tank, right, all seven gallons, and I pour that into the nine gallon tank, what's going to happen? Well, we already have one gallon in there, seven more. It won't fill the tank all the way, but that seven and one will give us eight gallons. And now we've only got one left, the six gallon. So what do we do? Well, I can build off of what I have right now. So quickly we sketch that. So in the nine gallon tank, I have eight gallons of water. In the seven gallon tank, well, it's empty right now, but, but we can use that. What if I fill up the seven gallon tank all the way? So the seven gallons right here. So if I fill up the seven gallon tank and I empty that into the nine gallon tank, how much water will fit in the nine gallon tank? Well, there's already eight gallons in there. So one more gallon will fit. And that means we took one gallon from our seven gallon tank. And now there's six gallons. So we were able to use these two jugs of water and this hose to measure out all these between one and nine. And I'm wondering, is there, first of all, is there a faster way to do this? And start thinking about what, what patterns we can see here. What's happening? And, you know, starting with any two given jugs of water, what measurements can we make? And what can't we make? Those are some fun things to think about. Mm -hmm.